right. Oriager fixes you with his gaze. My friend, ere I speak of the task at hand, there is a question I would pose to thee. What thinkest thou of mine appearance? It's pretty cool, Oriage. Did you take up astrology? Did you lose weight? I reckon I did, but take up astrology. Indeed, though the night be lost behind the shroud of blinding light, doubt not, but that the stars shine still. Ooh. I have chosen to avail myself of their guidance, that I might navigate the sea of uncertainty that stretches before us. For a blessing, my prior studies of astrology did provide me with adequate grounding in the art. But enough of myself, let us now speak of our task. As I did mention, if we are to enter Lai Gaya, we must needs gain the Pixies' cooperation. This is a simple matter of presenting unto them a suitable gift. I shall procure a selection of viands that shall I please their palates. Thank Red Prince, assist me in this endeavor. Meanwhile, Black Dragon, I bid thee obtain that which will please their eyes. In these parts, there abideth a vile kin known as Boteous Wings, the Hawker. I shall lend thee a receptacle within which thou mayest capture a weakened specimen.
Thou art returned. Were thou able to capture a hawker? Ah, truly magnificent set of wings. I shall treat them at once to make fast their vibrant colors. Thakra two should return an uh, Thakra two should return Anon, upon which I shall ready all the items for presentation. Pray take these ease meanwhile. Is done. The pixies shall be well pleased with these gifts. Ah, lest I forget. White Orosite, newly forged for thy use. Our mission being to thwart a rejoining, we will most assuredly cross paths with those who crave the contrary, our eternal enemies. Thus did I choose to abide in this ether-rich land, the better to fashion a trap for the Asian's essence. Come in now. You may indeed, assuming you've finished. I did as you asked. That's my girl, thank you. I should probably explain. Though my body remained behind in the source, its limitations saw fit to accompany me. Which is to say, I cannot manipulate ether. I took up the gun blade for its defensive advantages. But on account of my little impairment, I cannot imbue the ammunition myself. Luckily for me, Minfilia has quite a talent for it. Minfilia. Once we set forth, we are not like to return for some while. If thou wouldst choose tomes to take with thee, let it be now. Really? May I? Of course, my dear. Yet have care thou dost not add overmuch to thy burden, lest I incur Thancred's ire. spoken to him of thine encounter with the Minfilia of Eld. Well, I suppose now is as good a time as any. As you know, I freed young Minfilia from captivity in Yulmore some three years past. Not long after, the two of us journeyed to the south of Armoreng to the edge of the empty, where the flood was halted. It was there that she awakened, the Minfilia of old, my Minfilia. I do to bring you back my dearest Thancred as I am now I am no different from an Asian this child is but a vessel 
one of many I have used that I might spread word of her enduring blessing and preserve the flame of hope. In my name, each has died, never having lived her own life. I have taken enough from these children. I will take no more. But what of your suffering, your sacrifice? This isn't fair! I will not stand for it. I cannot. There must be something we can do. Tell me! Should the day come when this child grows weary of fighting and wishes to cast it all aside, then shall I take up her burden. But should she wish instead to become the master of her own destiny, then shall I bequeath to her my all. Imbued with the strength that I reserve for rebirth, she may come to wield my powers as her own. And what of my wishes? What of Flamines? What of all the people who love and care for you and want nothing more than to see you again? It is not their decision to make. It is hers. This child's. This Minfilia's. You have ever watched over me, Thancred. Now I ask that you do the same for her. Protect her. Teach her. Stand by her as you stood by me. There is much and more she does not know. She needs a guide to show her the ways of the world, or she will never find her own path. When the time comes, you will find me here. Until that day. Minfilia, wait! What... what happened? she was gone. Minfilia, the girl, claims to have no recollection of any of it. I have told her many things, where we came from, what we fight for, but of that day, I have not spoken. With the coming of another possessed of the blessing of light, the first hath begun to rise up in defiance of its fate. The question remaineth, however, who shall take up the flame of hope which Minfilia hath borne for so long? Whether we will it or no, the choice must soon be made.
I'm sorry I took so long. It was so hard to choose. In the end, I settled on just the one. That is well. Now, if all is in order, let us set forth for Lida Loran. What an interesting story. So, Minfilia, the original one, the OG one that you saw in like playlist one and two, is basically like an Astian now. So, she doesn't have her own body, she has to take over somebody's body. So, somebody who looks just like her is basically green her heart and get rid of all the time. Ultimately, it's going to be her choice whether she wants to wield Minfilia, the OG Minfilia's power or not. Which means if she does, we might lose the OG Minfilia forever. What a crazy, crazy, crazy story it's turning out to be. It's home. But, it's not something you jump in and just enjoy. In the emotional impact of having faith. First Final Fantasy throughout, I think that's good. It's not like, I don't know. I think if I play other MMOs like World of Warcraft, I can sort of jump into the expansion and don't really care much about the lore. On this one, like, the emotional impact of it all is crazy. I've had people on Reddit who basically talk about how they skipped cutscenes, skipped all the dialogue, and just played around, and then when they actually try playing the story with a different character, they realize how much they missed out. So, it's always good. Now, I know some of you know there's a key quest where the area was where I started. You get on with that in a moment. Let's just complete this quest first. We weren't expecting you all back so soon. We had scarcely begun playing with the twins. That said, your gifts are truly wonderful. Let me tell you, the milk and the honey and the biscuits won't last a day, and the wings are the loveliest we've ever seen. You've done us a great kindness, and it's Faye custom to return the gesture. If you desire anything of us, you need but the name. Right, so I have to go into the key quest first. So I don't know. 